All right, in case you didn't know, it is championship night for high school softball. And, of course, Rod will show us some of the highlights later on in sports. Yeah, but first, Brittany Copeland shows us a team who is playing for much more than a trophy. The UHSAA softball tournament features some of the best examples of team camaraderie in sports, none more so than the girls at Springville High School who are dedicating their season in honor of teammate Michaela Gage, who is battling back from a serious health scare. Let's go, Nat Nat! For a brief moment, things were almost back to normal for Springville's Michaela Gage. The junior, who used to spend most of her free time playing left field and shortstop on her school's softball team, threw out the first pitch in the Lady Red Devils' opening round playoff game, something that was almost unthinkable a month ago. I was really dizzy all the time, and I had a bunch of balance problems, and I couldn't see very well, like my eyes were, like I was seeing double. Doctors were stumped. They originally thought Michaela was dealing with a rare ear infection, so she played through it. When things didn't clear up with medicine, they ordered an MRI and discovered something worse. The technician came right out with her and said, she's got a brain tumor. 24 hours later, we were talking with the best neurosurgeon in the country. The gauges quickly were thrust into the worst case scenario. Doctors soon discovered more tumors on her neck and spine. We were in shock. We were like, how is that possible? She was just playing varsity ball last week. And the doctor, when he saw her MRI, he said, is this patient still walking? Over the course of a month, Michaela had three different surgeries. Then, Finally, some good news. They discovered the tumors weren't cancerous. But I had cysts forming around them, and so they were like, it's just like big sacks of liquid forming around them. And that's what was causing all my problems, is the cyst was pushing on my nerves in my brain. So that was where most of the problems were. I love Mickey! <laughs> the softball community rallied around Michaela, hosting fundraisers to help the family pay for the medical costs. Opposing teams, even came up with ways to show their support. Every single game that we played, someone did something, and each time you would have thought like, oh, something else, but each time it literally was so touching. It was just amazing to see how quick people jumped on it because they knew how much help and support that her family was going to need. Michaela isn't playing softball or attending school right now, but her attitude throughout this entire journey has been a lesson in itself. She's been the trooper. She's been the strongest one of all of us through this whole thing. Smiling through it all. She cried one time because of pain. And the next time she cried was when she saw the summer softball list and realizing she wasn't going to be playing. Definitely, it's hard to, you know, like the one thing that you love and look forward to, not being able to do that anymore. But it, it's nice to take a step back and, you know, look at things in perspective. Michaela's goal is to be back out playing by this fall. Doctors want her to heal up and regain her strength before she starts physical therapy. Back to you.